a bunch of weirdos to the Pokemon Crown. Yes, the Pokemon Crown. Then if we defeat a team, we get to capture one of their players. Now, thank you guys. Thank you guys for your patience. It's been a while since we've gotten the last episode out. I just wanted to get season two of Manchester United all up and running before we hop onto this one. But I am back better than ever. I'm ready to get some Pokemon. Did you guys see? Did you guys see announcement? New Pokemon game coming out. I know it's not even related, but... Pretty hype, pretty hype for Sun and Moon. Let's go ahead, let's get it in, guys. Two matches in this episode. One up against Hoffenheim, and now they're up against Celta Vigo. First up, 1899. Hoffenheim. Can we get it all? Nice and fine. At the Camp New. Ah, up against the FC. Barcelona, we sit comfortably atop the league. Five wins, zero draws, one loss. My goal differential of eight. Not all too bad right here. As you can see, most of our second teamers are going to be going out there, but then doesn't mean we're fielding a weak team. No, 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 no. Massive, massive big boys up there. Matthew, Korea, Victor, Ibar, oh, the Pirates. Going ahead and getting out. And a quick little of a sneak peek to you guys. On Wednesday, I will be having a vote. Giving you guys a little bit of a heads up. Having a vote on Wednesday to see what is the new career mode that you guys want me to get out. Do you guys want me to do a Luton Town or maybe a Mifer? Maybe something a little bit different. We will see. Go ahead look out for that on Wednesday. And yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into this match. Hoffenheim, what are they going to do right here? Flinging it across to Uth. Uth with the coot. And right there, terrible, terrible goalkeeping. As you can see, Jan Summer was too tired from the previous game. Hence, we're signing Vandalay. And that was just atrocious goalkeeping. If it hits you, my good sir, you got to keep it out. And the, uh, the plus 30 plus Brazilian right there actually gets the hand up and it just pings off of it. Terrible, terrible, atrocious choices keeping and we are down. And could this possibly be another Pokemon loss in this episode? Hopefully not, but look at this. More on the attack right here. We do get it uh, just as far, but Vandalay, ooh, and another great save by Grimaldo. Vandalay once again, poor, poor handling, but now we are finally getting an attacking highlight in on this. Danny Sabayos, what does he do? Cuts inside, lays it over the top to Anthony Martial, who brings it across, and look at the little, little offensive with the flick of the feet, with the flick of the feet, the victor, the pirate, Ibarbo. A uh, great team goal right there, just looking, making everyone making great runs. Victor Barbo posting up on the far side right there, and look at that. Great little dinky dink pass from Sabayos, then the power driven A pass, and the big number 13 for the Poker Squad. For the Squirtle Squad, just goes ahead and toe pokes it into the back of the net. The keeper had no chance in that ugly, ugly orange kit of his, and Victor Barbo getting himself on the score sheet. A Barbo! I don't know, man. Usually when a player put him, I think it's just for funsies, but he is an absolute monster in this game. And Vanderlei once again getting get, getting bombarded on the inside. And can we get it off there? And easily could have been down 2-1. And once again, more attacks on Hoffenheim. We're just coming fast and fierce. And Oot this time, another good save from Vanderlei. But it was only a matter of time. Could he keep on holding him out? Falling to the top right here. And another goal! Another freaking goal after up! Oh, it hits Vanderlei again! And it easily, we are a very strong side, but easily, 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 I think the place that we need to strengthen up is at our backup keeper position because this is just god awful once again. Let's see right here if it does ping off of him. Yes, it does. And Kevin Bolland, very, very nice. The German international getting a second goal. And once again, we are down to Hoffenheim in this match. And we go into halftime down by one. Can we get something going right here? Can we risk it? Or are we going to lose another freaking Pokemon in this episode? That is a scary thought that I do not want to entertain, but right off the kickoff, we're going to get a little bit good, patient build-up play. Then Sabayos once again on the ball. All good things happen through him. Grimaldo cuts inside, gets it back to Sabayos. What does he go for? Gets a little bit taken off. Falls ever gently to... Oh my god! I believe that was either Correa or Nabil Fakur who latched onto the back in that right place, right time. He goes ahead and gets it. Oh, it's Anthony Martial. Oh, man, Anthony Martial, you are kind of light-skinned, my friend. I thought <laughs> you were Correa or DeVille for Kurt. Not even in the same ballpark, but Anthony Martial going. Oh, yes! Right there, and uh, uh, the goalkeeper's doing his best Vanderlei impression, just banging off of his side right there. Where are you diving, my son? And we go ahead, we get a goal, I don't even care, I just don't want to lose one of our Poke Pokes. And there we go, all tied up right here, but then half the time, getting into the middle. And look at this, how did that not find its way to the uh, to the greener side of the post? And another pinger, and it's go again, but Vandalay actually can stop that one for once. He's going to start a counter right here. 
doing that nice, nice little long throw. And just within two seconds, we are on the counter. Montiel is going to go ahead, turn his defender, get past one, get past two, lay it across, do a little LTRT, sees the run inside to Victor the Pirate, a barbo who stops the ball for a split second, does a little bit of the Burma spin, and he's too strong, too muddy. He's too much of a pirate, the Marauder. Victor, take my man. Oh my god. Get hype. Just look at the absolute destruction, the pace, the strength. And look at that delicate, delicate little caress into the side ending. And Victor Barbo with his second goal of the day. Absolute scenes and pandemonium at the Cantonium. Man, maybe I gotta get Victor Barbo in more of my career months because that dude, that dude, that dude, my dude. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But right here, could we put it on? And look, a terrible pass, getting into the path of Zakaria Bakali, the guy that we got from the Pogig. Who gets it? And Victor Barbo can he get a hat trick? He cannot. But Correa is there to go ahead and clean up. Almost got ourselves a great ball right there. But I was glad to go ahead and take that goal. And man, we were down twice in this game, and we somehow came back to get a 4-2 uh, dinner, dinner, winner, winner, chicken, chicken, winner, winner. Yes. Angel Fred, the number 40. Should I switch it up? I kind of like him in that 40 position, but I can see. I can see if maybe you want to get him more to his uh, natural 16. But good little cleanup goal right there. Well done, well done, my sons. Well done, indeed. But could Hoffenheim go ahead and get it down? One last chance is inside, and Fabian Schar almost going ahead and pulling one back, and the last couple of attacks would be all Hoffenheim. We really got to straighten this out, and now the 93rd minute is going inside. Almost a free header, and Vanderlei is able to go ahead and keep that out as well. Hold on to the ball, my son! And we did. Holding on and coming back for four. To win, Anthony Martial getting the player of the match. Very nice, very nice indeed. 17 shots. <laughs> they had 17 shots. All right, 4-2 win up against Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim, a very, very well, moderately talented Bundesliga side right here. We're going to go ahead and get two pulls because that is the amount that we won by. And hopefully we can grab ourselves some green. Can we get a little bit of green? In our lives right now, let's go ahead do the nip luck. Let's do it right here. Right, right. Ah! Oh, oh, that one. That one hurt more than my nips. That one really hurt. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta lay off my nips. My nips are just gonna be obliterated by the time we're over. But will it give me a green? Woo, Vargas. Eduardo Vargas. He is pacey with four star skill moves and excellent dribbling stats, which made him a god in FIFA Ultimate Team one year ago. Vargas, the ex-Premier League man, was a very, very nifty guy. He was pretty much a cheap god in FIFA Ultimate Team, but not a bad way to go ahead and start. I can play the right mid and the striker position. Let's go ahead right here. The nip luck helped out last time, but do I even have any more luck, luck, nip luck to get us to it? Oh, that one woke me up. Oh, yeah. I love it. Give me that red right here. Woo! Shar! Baby and Shar. Good young center back with pace, strength, and excellent passing. He would be a welcomed addition to any back line. Alright guys, Fabian Schar, the legendary center back from FIFA 15, because basically, he was able to go ahead and grab him in the first January window, and basically, he was the staple of almost every single uh, large YouTuber, FIFA YouTuber, <laughs> when they were doing career mode. So this is an interesting debate, this is an interesting debate right here, we're only going to be able to bring one, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys, who do you want me to bring in, Eduardo Vargas or Fabian Schar? Go ahead and vote in the struggle down below. Oh, that's a toughie. That is a toughie because we got a lot of good attackers and we got a lot of good center backs. So, don't know. I'm, uh, I'd probably go Char. That's probably my vote. Uh, but enough of that. We are into this match up against Celta Vigo. Celta Vigo, a decently talented La Liga side right here. You can see what they are posting up right here. Not too many super, super noticeable names, but uh, I like, you know, picking up a Johnny. A Johnny would be pretty nice. We do need a little bit. I, I'd say probably the weakest part of our teams are our backup keeper and our fullback so those are probably the goes as you can see right here starting victory barbo in the right back position getting a little bit creative but it's mostly our first teamers that are out there carlos tevis bale uh the senko all the big boys and jan summer is now reprising his role in the mid uh in the at the goalkeeper position number for goes it steals it right off the bat but does not have the pace to break away from the pack but you know who does have that pace 
pace, pace. His victory barbell. It is the victory barbell show for two games in a row. Get it does a little bit. And then Ramirez banging it off of the post. But it finds all his way to Patchnack. And it is only unfortunate. It gets as far as Bale. Bale playing it across to Ramirez. Gets another shot. That one gets taken away. And another good parry away from safety. We were threatening early on. And often Vilsenko playing it up to the top. Now Bale Fikir going the 1 2 with Halilovic. What does he do? He cuts inside. Does he go for the shot? He does. And the finesse to the far post. Catching the the keeper and defenders all off guard right there and the beautiful beautiful butterfree does what he does best lulling the defense to sleep with his beloved sleep powder he's classic moves and look at that just a little bit of dink inside no one closing him down poor defense uh, by both the defender right there just jumping in the air where are you going my son and the number one of Celta Vigo is left stranded right there beautiful beautiful maybe even scraping off the bootful actually wipes his butthole on the way through to that goal right there and we have a one goal lead could we push it to two right here can we put the team away nice and early like and there we go beautiful one Carlos Tevez you would think that was automatic but ah, Tevez just did not have his boots on today and he but he did have his fighting boots on going ahead and picking up a yellow card right on the verge of halftime that is not good gonna have to be a little bit more careful with him that was mostly I don't know I, I guess he has high aggression so he does kind of get into those tackles but something to be noteworthy on later in the game as it might be able to go ahead it might actually go ahead and bite us back but look at this terrible defending on my part and banging off the inside of the post but cannot get inside Ramirez good cover right there but then it was more from Celta Vigo Blasco's it cuts it in and terrible terrible shot from Fontes right there and now this is where things kind of go sour I'm trying to defend just trying to get onto the ball and remember it's Carlos Tevez once again on a yellow card in the 65th minute gets his second yellow card and that I believe is the first red of this whole entire series we've gone a whole entire season and a quarter and we've never gotten a red card but it's two yellow cards from our striker of all people Carlos Tevez and we are down to 10 men and we are gonna have to fight them off uh, from the 65th minute mark and yeah I thought that was in for a split second too but now we were also quite dangerous, even with 10, man. There's so much talent on the field that we could still get things going. Gareth Bale banging it off the post. It was just the post show for both teams for quite a while on now. And the Bill Kerr is inside. We were getting good shots. We could just, we just couldn't really find, you know, just that, that right angle, that right place. And then if you can't finish, if you can't take your chances properly, then you're going to give chances on the other side. And unlucky. Unlucky on this one, Jan Summer. You're going to see it on the playback right here. Probably has it covered, but there is an unlucky deflection on our side. And you can't say this wasn't deserved. Celta Vigo actually playing a very strong game up against us. Now you can see right here as it comes in, gets underneath the armpit. And I actually don't know if Jan Summer had that covered. It was a good shot from the Celta Vigo player right there. And But now, could we get something? Can we get it? Mane, good save by Sergio over there and that is how it would end ladies and gentlemen 1-1 one, one. unfortunately because obviously because of the two yellow cards and the red card to uh, Mr. Mr. Carlos Tevez we were held in check I mean it was a pretty even game all in all but you know what I'll just take it I'll take the draw Alright guys, so a 1-1 draw up against Celta Vigo, a rare draw, if you guys remember, that means that we don't get 100% pull out of here, no, no, we get one pull out of this very, very talented Celta Vigo La Liga side right here, um, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out, but remember, this isn't an automatic capture, no, no, this means that we have to flip a coin and actually see who we get, so let's see if uh, whoever we pull out of here is actually worth it, we get a little bit of in the hat luck, let's go ahead, let's rub it, rub a little bit of the nape. And then right here, let's get it. Let's get a little bit of the pimple luck right there. I got a big old blemish. So come on, give me some luck for my. Oh gosh, who are you, Aspas? Oh, Aspas, a decent all-round striker, but his best years are behind him. All right, so not the best guy. I mean, he used to be good, but for 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 the sake of it, let's go ahead and flip the coin right here. Let's see what is going on. If you guys, a quick little reminder: if it stays blue, we get to keep him. If it's red, he's back to the wild, not even added to the short. Let's go ahead, flip him. We get to keep him. All right, why am I that excited? You're a 78 rated striker. Whatever. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and get him in. 
And then who's that Pokemon? It was Darth Vardy having a party. I glad you guys got it, but these were the first three. Aiden Reiser or Reiser. I apologize if I mispronounce it. Joe, Joe, hey, hey. Hey, hey, Joe, hey, and his little brother, Jakey, hey, going ahead and sinking it in. I feel like that's a little bit of a cheat. You guys just cheated off of each other. But anyway, those are the first three. And here are a couple more comments that, you know, warm my heart. Made me feel all nice and gooey inside. There you guys go. Welcome to the showcase, lads. <sighs> And with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and massage my nipples because they are just so sore. They've been so sore. I'm a beat up old man after this episode, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. My name is B Minus. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, ah, stay humble, and be weird. Who's that?